Hey guys, it's Ryan and Wes here with Seagull Reels. Uh, today we're going to go over how to change the retrieve in your fly reel. And by we, I mean Wes. So, you ready? I'm ready for it. Alright, let's do it. Hey guys, we're going to do a quick changeover from retrieve from right. Or actually, she's set up as a left hand crank. To, we're going to make it a right hand crank. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. There you go. You see it. First thing we're going to do is pull this bull off. You're going to pull your hubcap off, set that there, then you can use, you know, your, of course you can always use your hook, but we're going to use a small flathead screwdriver, and again, you're going to put it right in the slot right here, and you just twist a little bit, and you'll notice it'll kind of work its way out. Let's see here, and got it, once you get it there, just go ahead and pull it off. If it should happen to shoot across the room or something, know that in your little pack of parts, right here, you have an extra one. So, once we have the spool E-clip taken off, you're going to pull it to you. And just pull straight up. And you'll see the inside of the spool and the inside of the clutch pack. Right here, sometimes this bearing and bushing stay inside of the reel. So they might be like this and here. So they might be in that position. If it is, just try to pull it out. You've got this bushing here. It's got a flange. The flat side, I'll show you which side to put it down when you reinstall it. So. You have this little washer, little blue washer, stays against the thrust plate. So now you've pulled your bearing off. The good way to check it is, all right, if you want it to crank right, you know your drag's engaged and you see it moving. If you flip that bearing over and you imagine you're retrieving, it's easy and the drag's engaged in this way, the way the line goes out. We're going to actually switch it to this position right now. So your right hand crank. We're going to then grab the bushing and you'll notice it's flanged like this. You're going to put the flat side all against the bearing. Set it down. Then you're going to grab your spool and then just locate it to the AR and just push in the middle and just seat it. Kind of squeeze it down. Make sure everything's down. Your E-clip, again, on your Eclipse, there's a flat side and then there's a dome side. Put the flat side down. You put it in this position. Kind of get it started to get the teeth of it, the two little prongs under it. Then you might get something with a little plastic back in. It could be anything and just kind of push it the remainder of the way. Sometimes you'll see people do it with their fingers. You can almost do it. Or use a set of small pliers. Put it in the hole and then just, just ever so lightly just Squeeze it in there. All right, so now your spool's back on. It's cranking the right way. Put your hubcap back on. Now you've got your, your system where your cranking is right and you got drag and reverse, but now you got to flip so your lever works properly. I like the lever to come back to you. So when you're fighting a fish, your hands on the rod, you reach underneath and you basically pull, pull backwards to you for more power. What we're going to do here is um, inside your pack, a uh, little accessory, little parts kit here, you've got uh, an extra cam. That extra cam is the opposite to, than the one that's in the reel. So go to free spool or light drag, unscrew your preset knob all the way off. Take that, set it to the side. You're going to pick this up and you're just going to push down lightly and you'll see it just pops off. So there's your cam right there. All right, so now you can put your lever back down on here. Make sure that your dry, the little washer under there is centered, put it back down. Now you're gonna put it in the, the opposite direction for the pressure, so you would be forward. Get your cam. You can put a dab of grease on it. There's generally enough grease in the in the previous cam that was on there that you probably don't need this, but just go ahead and you put a little grease on this little right there on the surface. Just helps. 
Now, you're gonna put this cam directly on top here, and you'll notice it's keyed. So you just kind of walk it around until the key goes in, and boom, it's in. At this point, you'll get a little bit of grease, not too much, just put a little bit here. Just kind of coat it a little bit, just kind of protect it. And then you're gonna put your preset now back on. Again, there's a little trick to getting it to a kind of a neutral place for drag is go to the middle position once you've got this screwed on a little bit and then you can just crank down until you get to a kind of a this light tension and that'll get you to be in where you've got light drag and significant drag if you put the drag lever hard. <laughs> so you can then from at this point, you can click one click back and forth to either plus or minus or pound of drag at your end of your drag range. So she's ready to go fishing now and now you've switched your retrieve.